In the equity quadrant, taking a look at the March NASDAQ futures contract, which hit a new all-time high today. Now I'm looking at the continuous NASDAQ 100 futures contract, and it went up to 16,806.50. That was only up a one and a quarter percent, which I say only, it's still a very good move, but it did hit a new all-time high. Cash markets haven't done that yet, but we are talking about futures markets here. It's now up six consecutive sessions and working on its seventh straight week of higher prices. Even though we're in the middle of the week, given the context of today's move, it's pretty unlikely that the week turns negative, although it could happen. On the low today in the March contract, 16,576, was only down a little bit more than a tenth of 1%. We finished the day up over 1.1%. So again, NASDAQ futures, a new all-time high, a full bear market in the continue, I'm sorry, bull market in the continuous futures contract. We had the FOMC decision today. While they left rates unchanged, the Fed delivered on the potential for rate cuts to the markets initially, and that's really what has been priced into markets anyway. Now they're priced in even further. The dot plots, or the Survey of Economic Projections, the SEP, is what they're called officially, actually showed that the majority of the Fed members, or really the plurality of the Fed members, saw three rate cuts in 2024. Now they're still not pushing their inflation expectations to 2% or below, but they are seeing room for rate cuts. Fed Chair Jerome Powell tried to clarify a little that they just think that rate cuts could happen, whereas prior to that they didn't, but the market clearly took it like they are going to happen with the first rate cut after the Fed meeting being priced in in March at about an 84 percentile rate when you look at the CME Fed watch tool. That could change tomorrow, but that's what happened today. Then you look at short rates. It also took the Fed very seriously in terms of the potential for cutting rates. The two-year dropped 27 basis points from 473 yesterday to 446 on the close today. Twos tens inversion went from negative 53 to negative 42. Maybe more importantly, the twos thirties went from negative 43 to negative 27. So a big steepening of the curve as well. All of that contributed to a new all-time high in the NASDAQ futures contract.